In today's tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to crochet this cute multicolored bell flower. For work, you need a crochet hook, two shades of one color for the bell part, green yarn for stem, and some black yarn for stamens. First, to make this beautiful flower, I am going to crochet a striped bell in rows using two shades of a color. Then with a the green yarn I will be making a stem, this top part, and after that I will crochet stamens to add them to the inside. I am going to start the work with light shade of blue. Begin by making a chain of 13. 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the last chain stitch, 13. Then slip into the second chain stitch away from the hook. Continue and make a slip stitch into each of next three chain stitches. 1, Two and three. Here I made four slip stitches in a row, then single crochet through in each of next two chain stitches. One and the last single crochet two. Then half double crochet through in each of next three chain stitches. One, two, and the last half double three and three in each of next last three chain stitches work a double one two and double crochet through the last chain stitch three the first row is made to continue with the second row, turn the work, make 3 turning chains, skip the first double of previous row and double crochet through an each of next 3 stitches. 1, 2 and 3. Then half double crochet into each of next 2 stitches. One and half double crochet through the next stitch, two. Then single crochet till the end of this row. There should be six single crochet stitches in a row. One, two, then work through the slip stitches. Three, Four, five, and the last single crochet, six. The second row is made. Now turn the work and the next two rows I will be working using dark blue yarn. To join new yarn to work, do not cut off the light blue yarn, just do not use it. Insert the hook through the first single crochet of previous row and work a slip stitch with the new yarn. Insert the hook through the first stitch, take the new yarn, pull it through the stitch and then through the loop on your hook. The slip stitch is made. Then work a slip stitch through an each of next three stitches of previous row. One, two, and Three. Here again we have made four slip stitches in a row. Then single crochet into each following stitch till the end of this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last single crochet work through the chain stitch. Eight. The third row is completed. Turn and begin row four. Make one turning chain 
and single crochet into each stitch of previous row. Do not skip any stitches on the beginning of the row. One, two, there should be 12 single crochet stitches on this row. I did two, continue, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the last single crochet, twelve. Row four is made. Now turn the work and again the next two rows I will be working a light blue color. Just hold this dark blue yarn tail on a side and work with a light blue. To begin the row work a slip stitch through the first single crochet of previous row. And then slip into each of next three stitches. Three and four. Here we've made four slip stitches in a row. Then single crochet into each of next two stitches. One and two. Then half double crochet three in a row. One, two and three. And double crochet three in a row. One, two and the last double, three. Row five is completed. As you can see, it is the same as row one. Turn the work to begin row six, which is the same as row two. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Skip the first double of previous row and double crochet through in each of next three stitches. One, two, three. Then half double crochet into each of next two stitches. One and two. And then single crochet six in a row. Work till the end of this row. One, two, three, four, five, and the last single crochet, six. Row six is completed. Let's turn to the front. Here we made three segments or stripes. Light blue, then dark blue, and light blue again. And the next stripe made of two rows will be the dark one. To begin the next row, take dark yarn, this light blue tail just hold down. Insert the hook through the first single crochet of previous row and work a slip stitch through. One, then slip through in each of next three stitches. Two, three, and four. Then continue, single crochet till the end of this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last single crochet work through the chain stitch eight. Row seven is made. Turn to continue with row eight. Make one turning chain and single crochet into each stitch of previous row. Do not skip any stitches on the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the last single crochet, twelve.
12. Row 8 is made. Turn the work and the next two rows work using light blue yarn. The pattern repeat for this part of the flower is four first rows. Here I completed two pattern repeats, it is eight rows. Now continue and crochet four more pattern repeats, it is 16 more rows. Keep working. I've completed six pattern repeats. This is the body part of our bell flower where I alternated in between the light and dark blue colors to get striped texture. The first two rows are made of light blue color and the last two of dark blue. It is very important because I'm going to connect these two sides together to create a bell. This is the reverse side of our work. This side will be inside of the bell. Here on this edge, this is the top part of the bell. You can see the loops. It is a result of changing yarn between the rows. Now to form a bell out of this crochet piece, fold it in half with the reverse side out. And we need to join the first and the last rows together. Here, cut off the dark yarn after you've completed the last row. The tail should be long enough to make a seam. You can continue working with the tapestry needle. I will continue using the same crochet hook. Let's first pull this last loop through the stitch to secure the end of our work and then begin joining. Insert the hook through the first chain stitch of our foundation chain. It's here. And then through the first single crochet of the last row. Take the working yarn and pull it all the way through two stitches like this. Then again insert the hook through the next chain stitch of the foundation chain and then through the next single crochet of the last row take the yarn tail, this dark one, and pull it through. If it is easier for you to work with the tapestry needle, please use it. Work in this way all the way till the end of the row. Here is the joining row. I remind you, we joined the beginning and the end of our work forming a tube for the bell flower. Right now the reverse side is out, so to continue we need to turn the right side out. Here on this side, we cannot see the joining seam that we've just made. Now, I will continue the work crocheting stem of green yarn. So, take the green yarn. Here, it doesn't matter from which point you start. So, to join new yarn to work, just for you to understand how I'm doing it, here is a light blue line and a dark blue line. So I'm inserting the hook into the side stitch of the first row made of light blue color. Take the new yarn, pull it through and chain three to bring up the yarn. Then make a round of double crochet stitches working into each side stitch of every row. Then double crochet through the next stitch and through the next one here. Work in this way all the way around. Here, try to work through the stitches or under the stitches, inserting the needle in two or three strands, otherwise the work won't be so net. Then double crochet through the next stitch. And 
and continue all the way around. Here, how our first round of double crochet stitches should be. Continue and complete this round. I reached the beginning of this round. To finish the round, make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch. And the first round of the stem is made. Now begin the second round. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, double crochet into the next double of previous round. And then work decrease stitches. Double crochet 2 together. Begin the first double through the next stitch. Work it like you would until you have two loops on the hook. Hold two loops, then work the second double through the next stitch and stop when you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three. Repeat again. Do not complete the first double. Hold two loops, then work the second double through the next stitch. When you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through three. Continue and double crochet two together till the end of the round. One you and make them together. Continue till the end of the round. To complete the second round of decreased stitches, make a slip stitch through the first double. Here, as you can see, our bell flower is almost ready. Here on top there is a very small hole. Now to continue make 9 chain stitches. 1, 2, 3. You can do more chain stitches if you want longer tail. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I do 9. Then skip the first chain stitch away from the hook and single crochet through an each of next chain stitch. single crochet through the last chain stitch. Now to close this hole insert the hook through two stitches through two opposite stitches like this one and through the second one and single crochet through this two stitches. Then slip into the next stitch. The bell flower is ready. You can use it like it is right now. I'm going to continue and show you how to crochet stamens. I will be doing stamens separately and then add them to the inside of the flower. Stamens I will crochet with black yarn. Chain 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then chain two more. 1, 2, and work a 5 double crochet cluster stitch through the third chain stitch away from the hook. Do not complete the first double. Hold two loops on the hook. Then work a double through the same stitch. Do not complete it. Do not complete the third double. The fourth one. 
and the last fifth double. Do not complete it. Then yarn over and pull through six loops that are on the hook. The cluster is ready. Continue chain two and slip into the same chain stitch that the cluster is made into. Continue and make a slip stitch into each of next chain stitch. Work all the way till the end of the chain. And one more. Here the first stamen is ready. I'm going to crochet four more the exact same way. Now you need to chain 15 for the second stamen and continue the same as we did this first one. You can make more or less than five stamens for your flower and also you can make them much longer or shorter. It depends how many chain stitches you do. Here are my ready five stamens. You can add them to the flower like they are right now. I will show you how to tie them together so they won't be apart. Just hold them together like this. Then make two chain stitches. One two, hold together and single crochet around these five stamens. Make it tight. If it is enough, you can cut off the yarn. If not, single crochet one more time around the stamens. I will do one more single crochet. That's it. Now we can add them to inside of our bell flower. My beautiful bell flower is completely ready. I made the exact same bell flower of cut and thread. It is a bit smaller but the same pretty. The stamens for this flower I made shorter than for the previous flower. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel.